been a little while since I've held a camera to my face. As you can see, I still have uh, the chairs here. There's one here, one there, and the other one is like stacked on top of some boxes at the end of my room. And then there's, of course, the printer I picked up. There is my little sister's Christmas present <laughs> and a ink cartridge thing. All of them that I picked up for free over the last week. And they're up on eBay now, of course, Facebook Marketplace. Uh, and that's it at the moment, to be fair. But, ow. <laughs> Hopefully they can sell very, very soon. Because, as you guys know, it's 12th of December. I didn't say I'm going to bring continue doing this until April. So it's like a full 12 months from when I started. But let me give you guys a brief, um, show you the spreadsheet. As you can see. As you can see, in November, I made £119, which is quite good. December so far, I haven't made anything. So we're still quite a way off of our total. But what I'm going to do in a sec, sadly, is subtract £82 from the April to November um, list here. Because, as I mentioned in another video in the past, uh, the person I sent the iPhone to that sold literally like two three months ago, they suddenly said they never received it. And eBay were like, we're not going to... They gave him the money back, basically, which is quite annoying. And for some reason, Royal Mail, I mean, Royal Mail are horrible anyway. They're pretty, very ancient. They do a lot of stuff through, like, sending letters. You can't do anything online. They don't really give you many um, online functionality, which is really annoying. It's really stupid. But they they passed on the, the iPhone to a third party in Ukraine to send out that item off. And then they never tracked it from then on. They never got a, um, what's it called, a signature. And then now they're saying... Because there's no signature, we can't give you a refund. <laughs> and both eBay, eBay and Royal Mail both said that they can't do anything. So it's super annoying, super bad. Like, it looks horrible for Royal Mail. It's really annoying for me. But nonetheless, I'm going to subtract that £82 at some point. And then that will bring us down to £180, £179. So not as high as I would like to be with a few months left. But it doesn't really matter. As I said, it's all going to get done either way. Uh, in the new year, hopefully, I'll, I'll have the Chromebook very, very soon. I'm still waiting for, for Google to send it off to me, but as soon as I get that Chromebook, that's basically 100, if not 200 pounds in the bank. And then, as I said before, I've got some other ideas that as soon as I'm done with all these exams and stuff, I'll put that into motion and hopefully turn 179 into 2000. Before, let us let me put this, let me document this so you can hold me accountable for it. It will be the very last day of March. So March 30th, I believe, March 31st, sorry. And that'll be, because I started this in around April, so we'll end it in March, and then that will be our 12 months. Hopefully, we can keep this going. As I said, as you can see, the chair is still here behind me. Um, and I'm going to send some emails off in a sec, try and get some more free things. Because at the moment, as I said, there's no more boot sales, and I have loads of coursework and, of course, exams next month. So I'm not really doing much in terms of work, in terms of selling my time for things. But I'm going to see what else I can find online, and hopefully, hopefully, we can get some things going. But... As always, I'll keep you guys up to date. This video, I mean, 3 to 12, you probably, if you haven't seen it already, I did a video literally just now that's going to go up tomorrow um, for my internship game series, engineering games series. It's called Now, actually. But, yeah, this has come down in a week, so we still have seven days to make some progress. And, of course, everything that happens, you'll be the first guys to know about it. So, yeah, let's go. So it's been a little while since the first, uh, the last flip challenge video. And of course, now we're back in London. I've recently sold the chairs for £20. So I picked it up whilst I was still in Bristol. I sold a Hot Boys Club 50p and I sold a few more bits. So now we're up to around 285 of course, minus the £82 from the iPhone in um, the last episode. That means we're going into the final few weeks of the year with just about £200 in our account. Um, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with that in the next three days because today is Tuesday and this is obviously going to come out on Friday. But I do want to do a little a little thing for Christmas just to, to give back almost. So we'll see if I can get that together in time. Of course, it'd be nice to have something uh, solid going into the new year with. But nonetheless, we're on a pretty good standing right now. So we'll see how the next few weeks and of course, a few months go. What you dream of happening on Free Cycle is that you find someone who's moving that can give you just loads of stuff. So I just picked up a laptop here, two bags in the back of like just random stuff that they're the person's giving away because I'm moving out. So <laughs> very, very good yield today. We'll see what we can do with it. Hopefully make, like, I didn't pick up too much. He was offering like a Hoover and all these other bits. I was like, nah, just, just give me these two bags. I don't want to take everything. I can't bother to put a load of stuff up now over Christmas period. But hopefully this laptop is a Dell, I think it's an XPS. So with any luck, I can get about 50 pounds for that. And then we're right back in business. So yeah, let's see how things go. Bang.
So now that this is probably going to be the last flip challenge video of the year, I thought now would be a good time to go into medium and quickly show you guys my stats of um, the lock stories I put up over the last few months. If you can remember, I think it was flip challenge eight, maybe even nine, where I told you guys I was gonna do a 30 day challenge with medium, get a uh, blog post out every day for 30 days and hopefully use those recurring like stories to generate some extra money. And that of course I put towards this challenge as well. So. I haven't really talked about it much recently and I figured since this is going to be the last video of the year most likely um, now would be a good time to put it up. So as you can see this is my first, the first one I did taking my first steps into my career. Actually you know what, is this the first one I did? Writing as engine, yeah so that is the first one I did. And here you can clearly see that I got $10, 10 cents I should say from 10 viewers with an average read time of 39 seconds. That's quite mad I feel like if you had what like not even three minutes, probably what, 390 seconds average. About five minutes worth of, of viewing it to get 10 cents. It's quite mad when you think about it. But that's, of course, everything here is going to be in dollars and then we'll go into the convert to pounds afterwards. I'm not going to use the current rate because after the general election, the pound has kind of soared. So we're going to go with the... Let's just average it out. I'll check in a minute what the, what the rate is. But we'll go for the November rate and that will be what we'll go with for our average here. So $10, 10 cents, I should say. Um, 49 cents from writing major stories in 30 minutes. This is actually a post that I did years ago and I got like thousands of views so I thought let me just re-upload the same thing and hopefully if it was good back then it should be good back now and clearly um, 11 views isn't quite as mad as I think what 1.5 thousand I think it got so the platforms obviously changed maybe there are some things that I need to take into account <laughs> moving forward but yeah they we're up to 59 cents now uh, 12 here so that's 71 43 that's one dollar and 33 cents yeah 34 so 134 um, 137 didn't get anything from this one productivity um, techniques five here and this is the last one this means we are on one dollar and 42 cents <laughs> I think I'm gonna double count that anyway and add that to my to my total later but I think that's that's accurate about a dollar 47 so to be honest, that's probably a, about a pound, let's be honest, given the current rates. I don't really know what the current rates are. Let me open a new tab and type in um, $1.4052, what was it, 52.47? I'm going to put in 42. Um, USD, two Great British Pounds. Comes up as 109, so let's just add a pound to my, um, my spreadsheet, and then we'll go on to the new year with... I believe 100, 203 pounds, I think. Of course, there are still a few more Hot Wheels cars up for sale, but given that, as I said, it's the 19th of December, it's very unlikely I'm gonna get any money here. This is one, because the deadline to, for Royal Mail to post things before Christmas is the 21st, I think. So unless things end in the next two days, which they don't, most of them end in three or four days, um, no one's getting their stuff before Christmas. And it's very unlikely that someone's gonna buy something now for after Christmas. It doesn't really make sense given the the significance of the the time period, right? So, yeah, I don't know. Of course, I'm gonna relist everything again after Christmas. Hopefully, make some money from that in the coming days and weeks. But as of 2019, like, I think this is it. I think this is the end of the decade, guys. So, yeah, it's been good. It's been a good run so far. From April to to December, we've made just under 300 pounds minus one incident, which takes us back down to about 200. And then, yeah between December and April. Let's see if we can turn that 200 into 2000. I'm confident, I know I've, I've got a lot of big ideas and I'm gonna be honest, there are a lot of expenses that I haven't added to the power yet purely because I haven't done anything with it yet. But very soon, we're gonna see some interesting gains and interesting investments and yeah, that basically wraps it up. I feel like I should do a proper goodbye because this is like the, <laughs> the end of the decade kind of thing, but nah, we, we still move, we still move. As well as as hard as times get, um, this the game continues. So yeah, that's it from 2019. Um, see you guys next time. Peace.